All right, Relink Gamers. It has been a couple of days, so I don't exactly remember what we're uh, what we're doing here. Oh, okay, yeah, no, no. One, one thing for sure, right? We have uh, our maximum uncapping there on Alsarov last time. That was that was very poggers, as the kids say. Yeah, we switched to Alsarov because we have Lucky Charge now, right? Which means that we, with our fifty percent baseline crit rate uh, from the just masteries and things like that, as far as I'm aware, and then forty five percent from Lucky Charge, soon to be fifty percent as we upgrade that sigil. Uh, we just don't need the extra crit. Uh, hit rate from Soul Eater at that point, right? So, Alsarov's our boy, uh, and we have... Okay, yeah, so they're not all the way up to level 50, or level 150, but they are uncapped to that point. We, yeah, we have, no, we have not enough Fortitude Crystals, right? Because, yeah, those things... The At this point, the Shards do, like, literally nothing, and the S's do almost nothing. Right, right, okay, 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 yep. Uh, and I think we are on the border of potentially being able to unlock some Proud Quests here, uh, is my understanding. Well, let me go let me see, see if I can find this side quest providing individual real quick before we get going here. Because on the side quests, you know, they, they they can have some pretty beefy rewards if you get all the way through. Well, for example, you know, 37,000 rupees and a copper spellbook is not, you know, wonderful, but it's it's not nothing either, right? Uh, so yeah, we are going to, I think, be able to rank up to Proud in this, uh, in this here video. Or at the very least, I think we should be able to get the rank up quest unlocked. We'll see, uh, we'll see about how we can actually do. Uh, yeah, because we only have two of these little orange guys. People have said, by the way, if you just want, you can just, you know, check the things like this without having to go to every single island. I know, I know, but I kind of like doing this. You know, I kind of, I kind of like, for some reason, I kind of like looking at it by islands. Maybe, maybe I'm a silly, I'm a silly little boy. Um, but it, it feels good to just go to Einstedo Archipelago East, you know, in particular. Uh, okay, so it's another, it's another Fury Cane fight. Got it. It's just the maniac version of the, of the Fury Cane, uh, Fury Cane quest, I suppose. Sounds good. Um... Legendary Merits, Omega Animas, Flawless Prisms. This is good, right? 42 Crystal L we will always take. But otherwise, nothing in here looks like super useful. Uh, Vitality Right Stone is okay, but we actually, again, we don't really need the crit hit rate. So no. Drop Items. Uh, obviously Silver Centrums, Mirage Munitions. Improved Dodge is always good. We will always improve Dodge. I want to put on basically everyone eventually. Me, the AI. I've also been told that Nimble Onslaught is... Uh, possibly pretty good on the AI too, which makes sense now that I think about it, because Nimble Onslaught, it extends the... Whoa, he summons goblins? Uh, Nimble Onslaught extends the duration of your invincibility after a perfect dodge, right? So with the AI being as perfect dodge happy as they are, right? Nimble dodge should be something that's pretty good for them in that respect, so... Uh, maybe not quite so much for me, because I don't always get the perfect dodges off every time, but that does make a lot of sense. Well, actually, I want to take a look at that after this... Maybe I should have taken a look at that before this Fury King quest, because you know how it is. Fury King is one of the dreaded wind bosses, and we know how wind bosses get down with messing with the AI, right? Uh, Fury King does not have quite as much... Oh, wait, actually, no, he does. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this could be problematic. Again, because the problem with wind bosses, right, they sort of take the AI's ability to fully control its movement away, and in my somewhat limited experience, that usually causes them to just uh, explode, right? They, they lose their ability to really, uh, you know, dodge and perfect and perfect duck dive dip and all that uh, as well as they might normally. I'm gonna do that. There you go, perfect. And I did the, uh, the, the option select there too, right? Where I would have, if that hadn't uh, dodged itself properly, Ooh, supplementary damage went off. If I hadn't dodged that properly, I would have gotten, um, what's it called there? What's the word? You know the word. I would have blocked it. Yeah, because I, I hit the guard button. Yeah, so we also, yeah, we, we are now firmly aware of the fact that uh, this two light here is is probably our best DPS right now. As we uh, hit damage cap more and more, I think that's only going to become the case. Someone explained why to me uh, in the comments. I forget who it was, but thank you. They basically said that the weird thing about Vasaraga is that even though that, like, third level heavy is clearly, like, it takes a lot longer to get to, and it's only the one big bonk, all of these heavy hits just have the same damage cap. It's just that the uh, the third heavy has a higher motion value, so it'll hit that damage cap easier, right? But if everything's hitting the damage cap, then the, then the second level heavy, this basically, right? Bonk, bonk, into bonk, bonk. This is just four hits with the same damage cap as the other heavy. So if they're all hitting damage cap, this does just twice as much damage, basically. Uh, so that, that that is sort of what my experience so far had been, but they, they essentially confirmed it for me that that is, in fact, Vassarago's best DPS. So good to know. Uh, get bonk, nerd. Supplementary damage is triggering a lot, huh? It, it is being very friendly. Uh, oh god. Good thing I cancelled great scythe in time there. Can we do this before he overdrives with the slow? I think so. Uh, I think so. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, we have to break some more destructible parts on his ass, but I'm not sure exactly... Oh, I guess he just gets his legs back every time he sort of rears up like that, right? Um, oh, he summoned goblins. Uh, I, might, I might do this, just because I don't want to deal with both goblins and this wind. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Uh, well, one of these days I'm gonna hit a goblin. I was gonna say I'm gonna try and kill these goblins while the overdrive is here, but apparently that's uh, 
a Fool's Errand. Thanks for the Panacea cap. There you go. Get wrecked, nerd. Get double wrecked. Wonderful. Uh, do we want a Super Sky? Or do we want a Skybound Dart Fury Cane here? I mean, his Bloodthirst is basically over. I, I might want to do the double Link Time shenanigan ring. I mean, we do. Uh, he does have this Enter Link Time thing here, right? Like, we do want to uh, not kill him too. Oh, God. Uh, we want to kill him too quick. We do want to make sure that we can actually enter Link Time. Uh, oh, that's Undying. Petering out. Let's save ourselves real quick here. Uh, so yeah, we do want to make sure we don't kill him too fast, but I don't think we're necessarily at risk of that. Like, we're almost at 100% link time, and it's not like he's on death's door or something. Fury Kane's got a little bit of HP. He's got some staying power here, so that's good. He's gonna get broken right now, though. Uh, let's try and break some of his arms and shit, I guess. Get bonked, you big ol' nerd. I didn't do anything, huh? I didn't break you in the way that I maybe expected. Can we not break this arm when he's when he's leaning on it like this? Maybe not. There you go, he's, he's rebuilding his legs and things like that. That The destructible parts one is actually the one that we might not get. Oh, he's bloodthirsting at 6%, okay, fair. Uh, oh, this is the part of an axe ability, it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, you just dodge these tornadoes and then, yeah, the lines where he's coming in. I mean, he is cutting off a lot of screen space, I will say. Oh, man, he showed up faster than I expected him to there. Okay, perfect dodge. Yeah, I will. Okay, this is uh, this is now uh, this this move was literally a joke the first time we encountered it. But every single time, as the difficulties get higher, the bosses sort of you know they add little uh, new new bits and pieces to those attacks. And that one is cutting off enough screen space that it could be dangerous, right? But I really don't think it should be that big of a problem. I also wonder if it's even a guard break if we block it because it really might not be. Oh, okay, yeah, he's doing he's he's sorting. Got you. He is he's surely sorting. Um, I wonder is this is this gonna make it harder to break parts on him? Then. I don't know. I don't know what the, the, the gender of a primal beast might be. Probably a gender, just not you know genderless. Oh god, that's good. We were able to take that bonk pretty pretty uh, heartily there, right, and that's all those defensive masteries that we've been investing in helping us out. Of course, as I say that, we get bonked again. But hey, guts, right? Yeah, out and then in. That's how you, that's how it goes down. With Fury Kane here. Um, get bonked, nerd. Ooh, good slow. Perfect timing. Gives me the ability to do one of these. I feel like I should probably, because uh, this second heavy is not particularly close to Link Attack. Nice. Uh, this second heavy is not particularly, or the, sorry, the first level two heavy, right? So this bonk versus this bonk, right? That uh, that first level two heavy is not super close to hitting damage cap just yet, uh, unless it's like, I don't even know. Sometimes it feels like it does, but a lot of times it doesn't. So I should, th I think I should be skipping out on it a lot of the times, uh, unless I have a really, really big vulnerability window. Like I should do that either uncharged, just straight up skipped, and then just charge the the big final level two one. Okay, they are flutter sorting. Is there a hitbox behind them? It looks like the sword is big enough. That there should be, but I can't say for sure. Okay, it looks like we are going to be able to enter link time here. That's a bet. Okay, perfect guard on the bright side. Get. Oh, don't get bonked. Great Scythe almost missing there in a very unfortunate manner. This should be Link Time. If everyone's ready. Yes, they are. Okay, perfect, perfect. So there's that upside objective gone. Uh, it looks like we'll get the destructible parts one too. I mean, Fury Kane, they're still, uh, they're still kicking. They still got quite a bit of, of HP for us to work with here, potentially. Okay, and then big bonk right there. Yeah, exactly like that, right? That, that's really good damage. 800k, I mean 900k when supplementary triggers. If both the supplementaries trigger on those, that will be about a million damage, right? So that's obviously the best thing that we have access to. So let's just skip that right there, essentially, and go, like, skip this one, right? And then just go straight to the bigger one. It's probably a good idea most of the time, is my guess. Get parried? Oh, I tried to. I actually didn't even, I didn't even need to. Hey, look, look, look at that. that was, I think that actually might, my, my mental math is a little unclean, but that was pretty close to a million, if nothing else. Uh, Rockham's down. That's fine. There is no critical condition uh, objective here. The captain's down too, but he's got auto revive, so it shouldn't be quite so bad. Yeah, this is, this is where the wind, I think the, like him, him dragging you around and things like this, all of his wind properties can start messing with the AI in a big way, I think. Yeah, like the captain, see, just getting dragged into the tornado like that, that's why he went down twice. Uh, let's help him out. Alright, oh, all right. Yeah, you guys can be a nice little link gauge farm for us also, though we have uh, Skybound Dart. So as soon as Fury King goes into... Uh, you know, yeah, maybe maybe with, with how long we've been holding onto the Skybound Dart, we really might have been able to just get a second one. So maybe it, maybe it uh, isn't a great idea to hold it as long as I have been, right? I just I, I just do like the idea of getting link time and then immediately going into a second link time off of the the full burst, right? But maybe maybe with the, if that we can do that. There's like it depends on the tankiness of the boss, right? If the boss is very squishy, Rockham's not gonna make it. That's fine. Uh, if if the boss is very squishy, right? Then we completely ignore that. If the boss is like medium tanky, we can do it. And if the boss is very tanky, I think it once again becomes a bad idea, right? Like Fury Kane's really sticking around here. 
Rock is, yeah, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? The wind is completely messing them up. Oh, yeah, overdrive. Wait, quick, before he does the thing. Uh, and, and we will go, or hopefully Rockham can get up, yeah, before uh, we need him for this full burst. I almost forgot to uh, hit Fairy King with the Skybound Dark Step. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna skip that, and we're gonna go straight to the bigger spawn. Hopefully we can do that one more time, basically, before this Skybound Dart is done for. I think we hit uh, Fury Cane in a slightly armored area there. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna roll to follow where Tide of Chaos sends him. The next heavy. Yep. This Tide of Chaos is, has a bad habit of trolling me. Our roll still didn't work out, unfortunately. He still got sent way too far away. That's okay. Wrath of the Goddess. I'm gonna do this. I don't see why not. In fact, can I hit you now? Yes. Well, no. Are you invincible? No, you're not. Okay. Yeah, so we can just get some, some free break on you here while you're standing in the middle like a fool. Don't mind me. Get slowed while you're here, in fact. I guess they are immune to that right now because they're, uh, they're doing all of their, you know, all of their bloodthirst shenaniganry. But, get broken like the nerd that you are. I don't know if we're going to be able to get, uh, if we're going to be able to get to this side objective for eight minutes. It's, it's looking a little dubious. But Link Time should help quite a lot with that. Let's wait for them to get all armored up again. And then just bonk them. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. You guys ready? Doesn't look that way. Looks like they're being uh, preoccupied by either the wind or the goblins. Hard to say. That probably just meant that we are not going to uh, to get the eight-minute mission there. Okay, let's get out of these tornadoes. Yeah, we're not getting it. That's okay. Again, yeah, the uh, the AI, uh, they have their, their difficulties. Yeah, if we had gotten that link time, probably everything would have been fine. Oh, no, I don't want to link time on this goblin. Thank you. Uh, baby. Oh, baby. Good, perfect roll. It's okay, though. At the end of the day, we don't, we don't necessarily really need anything from this Fury King quest, especially the things... I can't remember what dropped from the side objectives. I need to check that more often before I head in, right? Like, what actually drops from the, uh, the side objectives in question? Because it is, like, a set thing every time, to my understanding. So I can maybe, you know care a little bit more or less depending on what the drop is for the side objective. Also, it, obviously, it also helps us get higher ranks, but the higher ranks, again, we, we checked the clear rewards, and there's nothing, like, super exciting on there anyways. Get bonked nerd. Rockham is not going to make it. That's so true, Vern. Uh, let's use the blue potion, I guess, keep everyone else alive while we can. Okay. And out, and in. And Rockham is obviously, yeah, he's, he's right in the ring of death there, but he'll be okay. I believe in him. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I'm blocking this? Actually, it wasn't a lot of damage, even though I don't think I did successfully block him. But anyway, Link Time. Any Link Timers? Wonderful. Yeah, this should be a dead Fury King. Uh, you know, it'll be close. Oh, 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 no, no, Skybound Dart. Oh my god, it pauses it. I think we got it. I actually, the Skybound Dart pauses the timer, right? Oh no, we're not gonna get a full burst, though. We're not gonna get a full burst. Hold on, hold on. I need to get a quick great slice in. Oh, look at that, man, by two seconds. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. If we had if they, if they had a little bit more uh, skybound gauge to work with there at the AI, we could have done beautiful things there, but unfortunately not. I like at least we I like that I noticed that in time, right? I definitely have noticed that Skybound Dart can pause that gauge, right? So uh, I used that in a in a practical scenario. We just didn't quite have uh, maybe there was something I could have done faster to get three percent damage out there, but I figured great scythe into big bonk, right? Was was my best bet. Maybe battalions into canceling, like, but canceling battalions into Big Bonk, right? Because we can actually still do that because it goes on cooldown. A vitality hoof. What the hell? Nimble defense. Nimble defense? What is nimble defense? I actually don't know. I, I could have, maybe we've seen it before, but I can't for the life of me figure it out. Stamina is probably going to be pretty good as we get going here, too, because most of the time we do, it's kind of the opposite of what we used to do, right? We do kind of want to stay at max HP a lot of the time to be safe. And we heal ourselves back up when Undying sets us at 1 basically all the time anyways. So, yeah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. So, yeah, Stamina, if we do need damage-boosting runes, I feel like... Well, I guess probably Tyranny is probably going to be the most efficient damage-boosting rune that we can slot in, right? Because, I, I mean, ideally, I would like to get all of my damage from uh, nothing particularly interesting here. We didn't get... Oh, no, we got one Fortitude Crystal Large. Oh, 10 Knickknack Vouchers. Okay, now hold on. That's, that's, uh, that's important stuff right there. Now we're talking. Uh, stamina and Auto Revive. Oh, I could use some Auto Revive. I maybe I, I don't think I have any stamina slotted. Eventually, I would like to um, to not basically have any damage uh, sigils in there, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me let me tell you what I mean. Ideally, and I don't know if this is if this is like possible, right? Because but I feel like if I could just get to the end game damage cap, whatever that is, like as high as my damage cap could be with all the all the masteries, all the over masteries, all the levels, all the everything, all the gear, right? 
and uh, if I could get to damage cap without any damage boosting sigils, basically, and then just have, we have 12 sigil slots, right? Four damage cap fives, obviously there's pluses, right? But I, pluses can be very, very finicky, I imagine. But like just as the base trait, four damage cap fives, right? Because damage cap, uh, uh, it caps, so, so to speak, at level 60, right? So you're gonna want uh, four level 15s, right? Oh, it's 65 actually, yeah. So maybe even, and, and like a right stone, ideally, right? But at the very least, getting up to 220% there would help, right? So four damage cap fives, uh, two lucky charges, right? Lucky charge over here, caps at level 30. Uh, what? Wrong one. Where is Lucky Charge? Lucky Charge. Oh, Caps level 20. Right, right, yeah. So even though... Oh, yeah, so that could be something. Maybe... Oh, man, so we, we have, like, an ideal right stone, right? That is, like, stun power or something. And then, like, Lucky Charge and, and Damage Cap. But there's, like, no way that we're going to find that, right? But, okay. So maybe one... Oh, no, we don't even need... We don't need all this. We don't need all this. We need one Lucky Charge, and we need to get to level 13. So we actually don't even need that. Okay, yeah. So one Lucky Charge to level 13, right? Four Damage Cap fives to get us level 60. That now, we have uh, five single slots in and uh seven left right i am familiar with there is a sigil called war elemental right uh that is basically it caps at level 15 so if you get a war elemental five you're good and that makes it so that you basically always have type advantage that's obviously really good uh for for dps as well right uh, and then supplementary damage so now we're six out of 12 right supplementary damage goes up to level 45 i think yeah yeah yes so uh, ideally, again, this is just my ideal, currently in my head, this is my ideal end game sigil build for Vassaraga, right? So three supplementary damage fi uh, fives, right, to get us level 45, right? So now we're rocking, uh, we have nine sigil slots uh, and, what's it called there? Nine sigil slots and, uh, and three left, right? Quick charge also caps at, I think, level, yeah, quick charge caps at level 30. So two of those, right, 11. And then that, that leaves us with one sigil slot to kind of do whatever we want with right so if we're not hitting damage cap right if we are if we're not hitting damage cap all the time especially the idea is on that level two heavy we want bonk 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 like the the two the, the level two heavy is the one that does two of the twos right it's light light heavy and then that heavy does two attacks and the other heavy also does two attacks if all four of those are not hitting damage cap consistently right um then we we probably slot in i think tyranny is, is so far the biggest uh bang for my buck that i've seen as far as increasing our, our yeah attack right? Like per level. Like if we can slot in like one uh, level 15 tyranny, right? We can get attack plus 35%. Um, I don't think I've seen one that's, I don't think I've seen a sigil, a trait that's like bigger than that, right? So for example, um, if we do go down here for a second and actually, you know what? Since we have two tyrannies, I wonder if this uh, stamina actually will boost our attack uh, for the most part, but it's so like stamina. How, how big of a buff is stamina? Stamina is yeah, see, at, so at level, you know what, at level 15, stamina is actually at 100% HP, which is kind of where we want to be most of the time, right? Stamina is a bigger buff than Tyranny. So, damn, okay, maybe stamina is a, uh, if we have one sigil slot left there. So again, to, to finish off the thought, if we have one sigil slot left, then we will either, if we're hitting damage cap already through other stuff, then we'll slot in like an improved dodge, probably, right? Because that lets us dodge more often, and we do a lot of dodge canceling with Vassaraga, we, we don't want to get caught in the bad dodge, right? If we aren't hitting damage cap, then we'll put in probably like a stamina 5, I guess, and try and get 50% extra when we're at full health. Hard to say. Uh, I also would like it to be a little bit uh, more consistent, I suppose, but anyways, anyways, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, that, that's, that's enough of that discussion. Let's, apparently low profile does not do very much, uh, of what I, I, like I thought, anyways. So someone someone did tell me that apparently it's not very good. Nimble defense, uh, extends invincibility after a perfect dodge, temporarily boosts defense and restores a small bit of health. You don't say. Okay, so I'm gonna get the low profile off of these people. I'm gonna give them a uh, nimble onslaught if I can. Where is nimble onslaught? Uh, it's an attack sigil. So let's just get all of these out of the way. I think I have a couple of nimble onslaughts. Oh no! Wait, did I give them to Sierra? I think I gave him the, yeah, 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 I gave him the Sierra. That's silly. Yeah, because I thought they were useless. Okay, okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll get more. We'll get more. Uh, it, it will keep, it, I mean, it right now is, is definitely our, by far our strongest AI, right? Like, he, and not like in terms of level, in terms of masteries, in terms of gear, and in terms of sigils, right? He's got auto revive, he's got guts, he's got, and he's got nimble defense and improved dodge. So, uh, the captain's got an extra slot here. Could we give him something? Do we have any like defense? We don't have any nimble onslaught, but do we have any like, defense sigils we could possibly give him? This is from us finishing his fate episodes. Yeah, improved dodge and actually nimble defense too. And that comes with a low profile. I know low profile doesn't do very much, but it's something. Uh, improved dodge, I think, is extends the dodge count plus one. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I'd, I think I'd rather ha give him nimble defense because the AI tends to perfect dodge a whole lot. So, and it gives them some extra defense and heal when they do so. So. Uh, 
that sounds just wunderbar to me, if you ask me. And you do, because you're, you're right here watching me. What are you doing, man? Uh, okay, so we are still, yeah, it's going to be a while until we can un unlock this last sigil slot, the actual 12th sigil slot that I'm talking about here. But we might as well keep chugging along in the Masteries. Uh, is there anything of note that we need to do in town before we head out? Nope, none of our side quests are reportable. Uh, there's nothing for us to do with the blacksmiths. I guess we got one Fortitude Crystal L, but we need a couple more of those to actually get Ulcer off to max level. So let's do this last... Oh, there's two! Okay, okay, let's let's get a move on here. Uh, we might only unlock the, the, the rank up quest this video then and have to do it in the next one. We'll see. Um, Saga Illustrator. Oh, Mana Garmer and Galanza. So true. Okay, uh, let's let's do Mana Garmer. Sure, let's do Mana Garmer first. Uh, we're, we're just fighting wolves. Wolves after wolves. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Mana Garmer Anima, Mana Garmer Omega Anima, and Nick Knack Voucher. Honestly, the one that I care about the most is probably Top and Ice Pillar on the boss then to get that Nick Knack Voucher. Sequestration Right Stone, I'm uninterested. Skilled Assault, Cascade, and Quick Cooldown are useful, but again, I don't think it's going to necessarily end up being our, uh, our whole thing there. Uh, I guess so. that is one thing, right? If we have one sigil, I know there is that less is more sigil that boosts your attack by a ridiculous amount if you have no skills slotted in. We honestly, I, I could see it. I could see it. I really am not like super attached to any of our skills except for Undying. And Undying would suck to lose. M maybe we can get like, if we have three sigils slotted in, we get a big attack bonus. We'll have to see. But that, that could be something too for that last sigil slot there if we're not hitting damage cap. Uh, anyway, nothing from Mana Garmer here seems particularly interesting. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. So it looks like we're mostly just going to be beating him uh, beating up. We don't really care about how we do on this mission in terms of getting better quest rewards or anything. Of course, materials will never, you know, well, who knows when we'll need some materials, but right now, at least, uh, nothing from Mana Garmer stands out to me. Though, I guess, besides, like, you know, fire shards, water shards, earth shards, and wind shards, funny enough, and then all, which I don't think, I don't think even drop on these quests, but again, we can probably get them really, really, really quickly by dro dropping down to a hard quest and, like, one-shotting it or something, right? But besides those and, like, good sigils, I, th I guess I don't really care about anything, right? Until we have a new weapon that I need uncapping for, which right now we, we don't, right? Alcerov is, that's that's my boy. Uh, I guess I could try. I could check out the Ascension weapon if I'm really just, you know, bored and have nothing to do with the blacksmith. But I, I don't think I want to necessarily just be throwing resources at it quite yet. So that meant, okay, okay. I was worried I wouldn't be in time for the link attack there, but I was. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, I guess eventually we can take a look at the Ascension weapon. But for now, we don't really have very much uh, of interest to us at the blacksmith. I do like Managarma's theme, I will say. Uh, okay, let's do this. Oh, no, no, right. Yeah, Manic Armor doesn't, yeah, Manic Armor especially, because he doesn't, he doesn't stick around for very, oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, no, we didn't. He's not in range. Awesome. Uh, he, uh, Manic Armor doesn't stick around for very long, so that thing that I was talking about earlier with potentially, uh, skipping the first double bonk to get to the, the bigger, stronger double bonk that is currently hitting damage cap for us more reliably is a great idea, I think. Uh, I think he's not gonna hit us with this. Yep. So we can just hit him with that instead. Get Rack Nerd. He does ragdoll really far away. Yeah, the link attack puts him out of range. Maybe we can roll cancel the link attack into some good stuff. Maybe, actually. That could be a good idea for bosses like Mana Garmer there. Again, who just, um, what's it called? Right, who get who get launched up too far away by the link attack for us to really take advantage. Uh, what's he doing? Oh. Uh, I would like to battalion my way into him. There you go. Come if you dare. Oh, he, he went a little bit further with that than I thought he would. Uh, he's, he's not overdriving yet. There you go. Now he is. You want, can I hit him or he's going to do something silly right away? Oh, he's going to armor up. Okay, okay. That's fine. Bonk. This uh, mana armor does hit like a truck when he's in his armored state here. So let's not be too cocky. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that stomp, for example. Yeah, and he doesn't have like... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, well, thank you for the Panacea cap. It's probably going to keep me alive. Yep. Without Cap's Panacea there, we were definitely screwed. So... I didn't expect uh, to, he kind of caught me off guard with the glaciers. Um, but yeah, Mana Garmer also does not have, like, on those big front paw stomps and things like that, something that often catches me off guard, is he does not just have, like, you know, a giant big red circle like this that appears under him when he stomps. But those stomps are still, like, real attacks. Like, they can still be very problematic, right? Uh, I guess, you know what? We should maybe deal with these, uh, with these little guys. Maybe I should also heal myself. Hard to say. But yeah, these, I think... When there's lots of little enemies on the field like this, it's also it's it's kind of like a kind of like the wind boss thing, where it can, it can mess with the uh, AI's ability to prioritize dodges and things like that purely on the boss. Get slow there. Umbral Eclipse would definitely be the skill that I miss second the most. Actually, you might be surprised. You might think it's Great Scythe or something like that, but no, not really. Umbral Eclipse is really really useful. Like this, it just basically it's it's, it's you know free vulnerability window in a can. But the main thing is that uh, we kind of get like basically Id and the Captain already have their own slows too. So we wouldn't be losing the ability to put slow on the boss, right? We just would be able to do it a little less at will, right? Which is why, again, if less is more is, is going to get me to damage cap, then I will I will welcome it with open arms. 
I will I will not uh, I will not miss getting rid of basically any of my skills. If I can keep on dying, I'll keep on dying. Just because I'm dying is, is so goddamn good. But we'll see. I, maybe I, maybe the sigil I require. I think I think I saw once because I did I did see this the sigil not in in my own game. But I was just like you know I, I consume some like vague like no no one like I don't consume like a ton of reeling content. I just watch uh, stuff every now and then, and it looks like less is more is uh, what's it called? Uh, it, it's like a sliding scale, right? The more skills that you don't have slotted, the bigger the attack buff. So, uh, okay, okay, we're doing this now. I mean, this is actually a good spot for. I was gonna say it's a good spot for Undying because we can just hit him, but I suppose not. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't stop me. Cause yeah, now I can just like smack him while he's standing here, right? Oh, he takes he takes reduced damage. That's a little bit, bit unfortunate, but it's fine. He can still. Oh, I, I didn't have stout heart up. That's that's I I got absolutely scanned. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, so this actually is probably an idea where this is one of those fights where saving our skybound dart is probably not a great idea. Um, but but I, I I realized this after he already left overdrive. So I suppose I shall do it anyway, and we'll just have to see. Because I don't think uh, mana armor is going to survive for very long. Yeah, it looks like we can't. Maybe we can't roll cancel. The oh wait, I I, I healed there because I thought undying ended, and that's why we were at one HP. But no, we were just at one HP. So when I healed, undying promptly then ruined my heal. Unfortunately, this great set gonna take out a couple of these Nereids. Okay, literally one. That's not quite a couple, but it's something. Uh, I'm gonna get hit right on the head by this. Hey, that unglaciated me. That's nice. I didn't even do that much damage. Yeah, Mana Garmer does not hit very hard, I suppose. Like, you'd think with how, how much of a, a wind-up he gets for that attack there, right? Oh, I tried to parry that, and I failed miserably. Oh, I keep getting glaciated. I keep, I keep just trying to stand and bang with him. And, like, I can I can do it health-wise, but the status effects are, are too much, you know? I, I kind of want to wait for him to go. I was going to say, you know, screw it, and just, like, Skybound dart his ass. Oh, oh, Popple! Wonderful. That gives us a little vulnerability window there. That's great. That's good stuff. That is good eats, as the kids said. Uh, they're gonna link attack that guy. Oh, we're gonna be at 99 because I didn't join in on the link attack. Come on, that's not fair. Well, at least we're at 100 now. Yeah, we can't. We can't roll cancel that. Okay. Uh, Rockham's guts just got triggered. Okay, get bonked before you go into your big armor. That's what I like to see. So now we get just a big old vulnerability window on him here, and we can get him most of the way to break. Hopefully, is the idea. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna skip this first bonk, and we're going to go directly into the bigger bonk. And the idea is hopefully to do that twice within the skybound dart window if we can, uh, which we're not going to be able to do. So actually, I will do this one bonk. Oh, what the hell? Link time. What are you guys doing over there? And then I will roll according with where... There you go. According with where Tide of Chaos sends him. Luckily, he was out of wall. We didn't really have to worry about that. There you go. He's in Bloodthirst, but again, he's lost most of his uh, most of his overdrive at this point. Right? Uh, let's try and kill some of these nerds while Manning Armor is here, causing us a bunch of trouble. Again, it says he, he, he will... Uh, these nerds will make it a lot more difficult for the AI to do their thing, right? Yeah, exactly. They're getting distracted by these things, by the elementals, right? So they're getting uh, their back blown out by mana armor because they're not properly prioritizing their... Okay, we just blocked that, huh? That is really non-threatening. That's wild. I did not think that would work as well as that did. Okay, now he's armoring up. He's bulking up, as it were. Bonk and double bonk. Even just him walking around like that still has a hitbox, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty. That's a pretty good way to, to indicate how, how big and beefy he is. Uh, nobody was ready to link because they were also, you know, they were, they were fighting with the little elementals. That's another reason that they're quite annoying. Okay, he's doing the big steppers, as it were. Okay, double okay. I got you. I hear you loud and clear, Mr. Garmer. Uh, you get slow for the culture. Oh, how nice of you. For the culture and everything, huh? Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong set of heavies. God, I'm in the first heavies. The worst heavies, as it were. He's bloodthirsty again. Okay, okay. Oh, but he's doing... He's, he, at least he takes his armor off right away. So after this death threshold, uh, he's probably dead because it's 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 a break uh, and then a link time. I'm going to try not to overlap them, I guess. Or I guess no, no, it's fine. Overlapping link time with other vulnerability windows isn't so bad because it slows everything down anyway. So it's like we won't really use any of the time that he spends falling for the break in link time. Anyways, it, it's uh, Guts just got triggered, but that's fine. Um, this attack, in my experience, is also a pretty difficult one for the AI to dodge. Again, I think it's because of all the uh, the Nereids, right? Get blocked. Yeah, exactly, right? They can't... Oh, God. Oh, nice. They knocked me out of my glacier. That's that's not so bad. But yeah, I think it's because uh, there's all the little guys, and there's a bunch of hitboxes coming out from Mana Garmer, right? So that's it's too much for their little AI brains. 
It's a good thing there is no critical condition uh, side objective on this, right? But I mean, again, really the only side objective whose rewards I care about. Wait, when did he get the armor again? This has got to be cheating of some of some kind. There you go. Okay, take that armor off. Uh, are they gonna be ready for a link time here potentially? Seems not. The captain was uh, was busy. Highly unfortunate. Well, get Rex nerd. I guess I'm just gonna undying, and I just, I just don't want to deal with any of this nonsense. Plus, it'll be this attack boost will help. Because actually, yeah, this move is not hitting damage cap just yet. So, undying will help with that. Your just rewards. All right, he's almost dead because of that. Again, that 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 last bonk there is just a a massive thing. This will kill him. Yep, and we had one more hit coming too. Water Primal's Emancipator. We have freed him from the control of the Church of Avia. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I mean, again, it's just... Mana Garmer, he's not a wind boss, but again, that Death's uh, Threshold move that he does, it just, yeah, the AI simply cannot dodge that. Um, even, even I mean, I've given some of them have, uh, like, Id has, he's, he's, like, kitted out to the max, right? He's got Guts, he's got Auto Revive, he's got improved defense, he's got improved dodge, I think, too. Right? He's got everything. It's just that, that Mana Garmer there, uh, that attack is just too much for them. Mana Garmer, Omega, Anima, Glaciate Resistance, that could be useful. I mean, I don't think that, I don't think that there's really any purpose in slotting in sigils specifically to counter, like, a certain boss, right? But, like, if there is, you know, Glaciate Resistance 5, Glaciate is the most uh, annoying status effect to get hit with, in my experience, right? It literally just removes your ability to move entirely. Um, so if, if there is a boss where it's, like, the status effect is the big hard part about them, then sure. But I'm not so sold that I, like, I haven't experienced a boss that's like this so far. But who knows? Maybe as we get further in there, we will. Uh, Glacier Resistance, Attack Power 4+. Plus. That's, yeah, uh, who cares? Uh, sequestration, right stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, I see you. I see you. I guess we need uh, Inferno Orbs, right? Is the one thing. We, we need to upgrade Lucky Charge, level 13. It's level 11 right now. So I guess uh, we need Inferno Orbs. That's like the one sort of thing that we care about. But at the same time, uh, we're not going to get those off of Mana Garmer, is my guess. I know, call me crazy. Uh, okay, okay, let's let's do, uh, let's just get right back into it here and do... The saga continues. Silver, yes, yes. Let's fight uh, Galanza here. It's been a while, actually. It's, it, I think it has been quite a long time since we fought Galanza. He was, like, in the beginning of the uh, one of the first extreme quests that we did, right? And then throughout all of Extreme and all of Maniac so far, we have not really fought him again. There's that Silver Wolf Clovis. Right? This is what we use to uncap Soul Eater to level 5, potentially. Or level 150, that is. Tyranny 5 is good, right? Because, again, I think that, that that might be one of the things that we run. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it's, it's, you know, good to have, at least. Uh, he, he drops crit hit 4 plus as well. Mirage munitions. Dread, dread right stone's also good. Because dread is probably the right stone that I'm the most interested in. Right? Uh, so. I will hope for a good dread right stone. A dread... Man, if he gives me a dread right stone with like... I don't know. Either lucky charge or damage cap on it. I mean, he's not. He's not going to. Uh, I, I don't even know if, if he can drop that. Maybe we need like a higher level boss to drop a right stone that's that good. Right? Because uh, I don't really think I've, I don't think I've seen either of those as like a supplementary uh, trait on any of these right stones, right? But if he drops it, man, man, will I be a happy, a happy little boy? Oh, I didn't check what his side quests drop, but I imagine it's like you know, Galanza, Anam Anamnesis, Silver Wolf's Valor, and like a knickknack voucher or something. That seems to be the case for basically everything. Yeah. So the nice thing about Galanza. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that's not the nice part. Well, it kind of is, but I I, I messed it up. I wanted to, to parry that, and I, I failed to do so spectacularly. But what I was going to say is the nice thing about Galanza is he just kind of stands and bangs with you, right? So if we get... We, Undying can be a very effective tool against him to just let you sit there and, and, and fight with him. Which, in fact, I, you know what? I will do right now. This is why, like, this is why I'm popping Undying so early, because Galanza will actually just sit here and just keep attacking. He's not like Mana Garmer, where we just have like such a hard time pitting him down. Galanza will, will come up to your face and do his best to murder you, right? So if we're undying like this, we can just straight up sit here and get... It's, 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 it's an unlimited vulnerability one. Look, look at him. He's actually just here this entire time, right? This is... this is uh, Galanza is a is a very good fight for Vasaraga, in my opinion. Okay, he's dropping down. Undying is still active. We'll wait for him to come down off of his spear here. Bonk him thusly. Undying's leaving soon. Undying just left. Undying just left. Like I just said. Uh... It's fine, it's fine. We have auto revive. I forgot that we have auto revive actually. So that's pretty pretty sick right there. Bonk. Bonk! Oh, I tried to get him to stun. He did not get stunned. Uh get battalions. There you go. There's that stun that I was looking out for. But yeah, look at that, like undying just gave us gave us like 20% of, of Galanza's health basically for free, right? And he wasn't even in break or anything like that. He just wanted to hit me really hard. So I was like, uh, you know, by all means, I will hit you equally hard, and let's see who goes down first. Now, the answer is clearly that I would go down first, but I was able to, uh, you know, hang in there for a sec, which is very good. Uh, Marshall Spear is just, yeah, a matter of 
dodge the uh, the big scythes and jump over the fire, so it's really not so bad. Nice and easy move to dodge, and it doesn't seem like it's gotten that much worse in the transition from Extreme to Maniac. At least not yet, maybe he'll do a worse one later. Uh, okay, okay, but now I have to be... now I have to... Phalanx from the Captain can definitely help too, right? Uh, to help us stand and bang a little bit, but it's, it's obviously nowhere near the literal invincibility of... Uh, what's it called there? Of Undying, right? Uh, is he coming at me? Yes, he is. Oh my god! Okay, I thought there was gonna be a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more build up to that one. I didn't think he. I thought there was gonna be a big red circle or something. I was very wrong. Get stunned, nerd. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. Oh no! And I gotta miss out on the link time party because he's because I'm down. Okay, okay, that was that was a that was an unfortunate one there. Uh, get slow, baby. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, I see you. Get slow, please. There you go. And now we can. You know what? With Galanza, because this fight isn't going to last a super long time, I don't think. I am going to overdrive, uh, or super skybound him, rather. There you go, I've carried that, that's what I was hoping to do. I'm going to super skybound Arkham right now, just because I think this fight is, like, really quick one way or the other, right? Um, because we, we can't just, like, sit here and just hit him over and over. So I don't know how many of these skybound, how many link times we're realistically going to get on him. Allow me! Look at that again, his, his, his voice lines get progressively nicer as you go, uh, as you progress through the story, have you noticed? Like at first it was like, fine by me, and then it was like, I'll finish this, and now it's allow me. And so he's so nice and polite. Okay, and there's a break on him, and this break will transition right into a link time as well. Everything's coming up Millhouse. And we get this gigantic bonk on him here, while we're here. And we're pretty close to Link, so I'm gonna be greedy. Oh no, he's bloodthirsty. Okay, never mind. Uh, Storming Death, I forget exactly how this works, but... I can't, for some reason, the only one that I remember that Galanza does every time is, is Marshall Spear. Oh, he, he, I just realized that he takes his armor off and puts it on his spear. Huh? That, that is that is a weird thing, but it happens, I suppose. Yeah, that's not so bad. Uh, this is not so bad either, but I'm definitely, oh my god, I was going to say, I'm definitely getting pushed to the ends of the arena here. I don't have a ton of room to maneuver. I, I walked right into that because I thought it would explode in a different timing. That's fine. I suppose we can heal up a little. No, uh, someone did tell me that basically potions do not uh, hurt your ranking, right? It's mostly about like clear time, uh, side objectives, and, I, and something else they said, but I, I forgot, so I'm sorry. But yeah, the, the important part, at least for the question that I asked, was uh, that it is not detrimental to uh, to use potions. Like, using potions is not going to keep you from S++ or anything like that. And obviously, this isn't S++, because we've already gone down a couple of times. But were, were this to be a, a better, cleaner Galanza run, right? I'm going to Undying again. Yeah, yeah, because again, I just, you know, I was going to sit here, and I'm going to, I'm going to, this is basically uh, the entire duration of Undying is one massive vulnerability window. I just, I, this is why I love the Galanza fight, man, like this, 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 this feels good. Oh, I didn't charge that all the way, like a fool, like some sort of idiot. Oh, he's actually, he is, he is moving now, though. I would rather he not, I would rather he keep, keep doing the thing where he didn't, yeah, yeah, this stuff. This is what I want you to be doing. Rockham is not going to make it, but what else is new? Get bonked, nerd. Get... Double bonked, nerd. Oh, one dying's about to run out. Uh, let's just keep an eye on when it does. It just did. Oh, and right, right when he went into overtime, and I would have gotten pushed away anyways. Perfect. Uh, Marshall Spear. Sounds good. Oh, there actually is a critical condition side objective here. I did not notice. Oh, it's faster now. This is definitely faster than the first time. I feel like, at least these, uh, they come out. They 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 come out at the same amount of time, but they travel faster. It feels like. So I guess yeah. It does get slightly worse as it goes on here. Okay, okay, well, thank you, Guts, for the save there. I mean, we do have Guts and Auto Revive at this point, right? So it is pretty nice. That combined with Undying means uh, it is pretty difficult to put us in critical condition outside of a lot of things going wrong at once. Oh, no one else had Skybound. No one else was even close to having Skybound Dart. My bad. I got a little uh, excited. I, I still need to... That is still a really bad habit. I do need to double-check the AI's Skybound gauges before I just, you know, willy-nilly go into my own Skybound Dart. Uh, I don't think I can... Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna try and uh, stun him before he left that slow, but I was like, as I was realizing that I don't think I'd be able to do that, uh, I, I, I got sent to condition. Okay, okay. Well, that's fine. That, there goes that side objective on Galanza there, but it's okay. It's not really that big of a deal, I don't think. Um, I, I, I can't remember what it gave us. I mean, maybe that was the Knickknack voucher one, which is probably the one that I actually care about, but again, it's it's not it's not so bad, right? We're just mostly trying to clear these. 40, that hit me for 42,000? Damn. 
Well, is that an, an indicator of things to come? I don't know what is. Uh, but yeah, we, we're just trying to clear these quests right now. We'll worry about, like, if we need, really need to farm this for S++ or something, we'll do it when we're stronger later. Though I will, I say this. Uh, all right, I think that we just got auto revive back up, is what that little pop-up over our head just said there. I think it just came off of, uh, cool down. Yeah, yeah, right there. It's, it's gonna, we, and we used it immediately. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're not, if we need to S++, plus, plus, oh, I thought, I thought this was going to explode. Uh, if we need to S++ plus, plus this or later, uh, or something later, we'll do it when we're, when we're bigger and beefier. Uh, though, as I, what I was saying is that there's not really a ton of room for us to get, like, a lot bigger and a lot beefier. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe, maybe I'm missing, uh... Like, maybe there is a lot more. Oh, it's double. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I am, though, the one thing about the Galanta fight, I feel like because I do just want to st stand there and hit him, it does, it does definitely, uh, it makes me a little stupid. Uh, it, it turns, it, it makes me go barbarian mode. Um, but yeah, I don't, th maybe there is, like, a lot of, of room for the character to get stronger that I'm still missing. I mean, I imagine there is, right? But it's not, it's not as obvious to me as it used to be, right? Because we've got an almost level 150 weapon. We're almost, you know, at the level cap. I guess over masteries are a big thing. I mean, we haven't even finished all of our defensive masteries. So that's a big thing. Um, like, I'm sure there's still a lot of a lot of room for improvements there for our Vassaraga. But you know, my point is just more so that I can't see it as clearly as I, as I used to, like the, the potential paths to uh, to getting stronger. Okay, yeah, perfect dodge nerds. That's pretty important against Galanza. It does basically let us just do this for a little bit. Oh, wow, I really wanted to stun him there. That is the one thing about the, uh, the, the, the second level charge, right? It doesn't do nearly as much stun as the third level charge. It does more damage, for sure. But it is, it is worse for stun, no doubt about it. Get bonked. Still worked out there. Uh, and hopefully another big bonk before he murders me. Well, kind of. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know if this will, if this break will pause his explosions, but in fact it did. The, him, him falling down like that reverted the volcanic activity he had created in the ground. Okay, we're gonna skip this, and we're gonna go straight to this. Oh, no. Never mind, we'll do nothing. He could have died very easily there. Instead, I decided to just lose, I guess. Bonk. Oh, I'm in the wrong heavy. Okay, okay, it's fine. He's still dead. He's still dead. Okay, not a super clean uh, Galanza fight. That's for that's for damn sure, right? But again, the important thing is he he's uh, deceased. That's that's what we were that's what we were hoping to do, and that is what we accomplished. Yeah, when Vern says that, you know you fucked it up. When he goes, uh, you made that look easy or something like that's the good stuff, right? But when he when he talks about how hard the fight looked, right? That's how you know you're screwed. Uh, sequestration right stone, life on the line. Okay, I think the only thing that might potentially be interesting for us here is that sequestration right stone, right? If it's, uh, if it's got, if it's got some good side traits, then we can very well replace the one that we're currently rocking. Because I think we are rocking a, sequ a sequestration right stone right now, I just can't remember what we're rocking in it. It's, uh, stun power, obviously, but after that, it has some secondary traits, and I don't know what it is. Okay, okay, and he dropped a crit hit rate 5. Eh, eh. Uh, sequestration right stone that he dropped has quick cooldown. Uh, no. I, 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 forget what's, I forget what's on ours, or maybe it is quick cooldown. We have something on ours right now, but regardless, quick cooldown is, is not uh, very exciting for me, personally. Uh, ba ba bum Where, where, where's, where's our right stone? Can we scan? Surely I can see it in an easy way from here, right? Uh, on the weapon, probably? Yeah, there you go. Oh, it is. Yeah, we have, we have literally quick cooldown. Yeah, so I, I, some, I knew something about that did not strike me as super exciting, and it's because exa it's exactly what we have right now. So, uh, defensive masteries. We're going down there. Uh, this is a bit of a waste. I mean, I guess not. It's not a waste, right? But it is just it's spending 600 mastery points on that definitely hurts. I'd rather get 2,000 more HP. But it's all, anyways, it's all in the pursuit of that last sigil slot there. So, um, are we at rank up mode yet? No, no, there's still a couple more. Okay, let's keep going. The saga continues Earth. Defeat Excavalion, man! Okay, I'm not gonna- I'm, I'm gonna do that one at the start of the next episode, because that, that fight can be a little long. Who are you? Defeat Magliel? That's what we're talking- we can, we can finish off with some- some Magliel real quick. Um, because Magliel is weak to dark, so she kind of goes down like a fish in my experience. Another- oh, she drops Dread Right Stone, I love to see it. Improved Guard, Regen, Magliel Anamnesis... Okay, okay, nothing super interesting and nothing from the side objectives, there's also nothing I care about. So I'm not going to go out of my way to try and do any of them. Uh, so we're just going to go punch Magliel in the face. Uh, we do have some Mirage munitions. We'll, we'll put those on between episodes, I suppose, but I don't think the extra, like, two attack is really going to be the difference between us potentially beating Magliel or losing to her here, so I'm just gonna Magliel, go in and punch her. She says her name like a Pokemon every time. It's, it's very cute. Magliel. All right. Excuse me, madam. Could you die real quick? Yeah, those, man, those, those golden letters, man. It's just like fighting games. It just feels so good to see any sort of uh, any sort of golden text whenever you do anything. That's how you know you did something right. It's like the perfect in fighting games, you know? Those seven golden letters. Okay, I have been repelsed. But again, I mean, look at this. Magliel has lost 10% uh, of her HP 
Wait, wait, let me say there. He's lost 10% of her HP already. She's uh, she's not built for this, man. She cannot she cannot hang with Vasaraga like that. Vasaraga does enough damage as is without giving him goddamn type advantage, right? And she is not as like she's not as tanky as like Kai Tar, for example, which is the other enemy that's weak to dark. I mean the only other enemy that's weak to dark, as far as I can tell. Um, I don't think it's gonna kill us. Oh, actually, you know what? It did. But guts guts saved us. I did not realize. That does, you know, she does more damage than I give her credit for. Let's see, yeah, let's not underestimate her. Uh, she's not very tanky, but she does, she does hurt. Right. Oh, we have 20,000 HP. That's weird. I did not notice. Uh, she's about to go into overdrive already. One minute in, and she's, she's overdriving. Let's bonk her before she does that. Let's get a secondary small bonk in there before she does that too. There you go. And here's her overdrive happening. Uh, this isn't, uh, what's it called? This isn't the Symphonic Symphony Symphony of Destruction Symphonic Symphony Symphony, right? Where is it? It might be. Uh, no, no, no cutscene. I think that one is a, uh, that's a health threshold one, not an overdrive one, right? The Where she, she calls out, uh, hold on, I can remember their names. It's Mjolnir, it's Caduceus, it's Gable, and it's the gun. You know, the gun. Oh, God. What's the gun? Which one's the gun, man? Uh, let me, let me do a small heal here. Which one's the gun? It's gonna, it's gonna bother me. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna bother me for long, because she'll do it eventually, and then we'll just see it there. But I, I'm just like... I want to know. I forgot. I, I, I could have. I didn't expect. I'm, I'm surprised that I remembered Gable. So I guess that one has a connection in my head with Fate, which is why I remember it so vividly. Um, but like, what, what is it? What's the gun called, man? Ah, well, it's fine. Oh, well, well, when she does it, when we get her to the health threshold here, then uh, she'll say it, and I'll feel very silly. I'm sure. Uh, guys, you're, you're knocking her away too far. Oh my God! They actually just—they beat her ass so hard. They like slowly just pushed her out of my uh, out of my heavy range, right? I was like, she's not just gonna keep falling back, is she? And then she did. She just kept falling back. It was, it was truly, it was truly something. Uh, I think she's going to do her uh, her sword shenanigans pretty soon here, so I'm just gonna do this before she can. Though maybe it's a 50% HP thing, so she wasn't really that close. But regardless, so this should uh, t take us into a break here on Maglio. Uh, oh, it, it, your skybound art, it. Oh my God, I did, I did the thing again. I didn't notice that how uh, how little skybound gauge the AI had. Oh, gee, summon Sword Veil individuals. Well, she's gonna get broken here, basically. Anyways, regardless, uh, it's gonna reach her. This one did. Yeah, she walked right into it. This is a little billy. Get bonked, nerd. Make it a bloodbath. It. That doesn't sound very heroic. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta change up your mannerisms ever so slightly, Monsieur. Six hundred K. That is, that is. Those are good numbers right there on a single hit. You'll never catch me complaining about that. Yeah, here it is. Here's the. Uh... Oh, you know, 186. Even when she's in her damage reduction state, that's pretty good. Yeah, here's Symphony Superior. All right, guys, what's the gun called? Uh, oh, Frey Kugel, Frey Kugel, Frey Kugel. I remember, I remember. I did this, this triggered my memory. It's, it's Frey Kugel. Yeah. Okay, I got there before she said it. That doesn't. So I'm good. Yeah, yeah, Mjolnir. Come on, say it's say the gun is Frey Kugel. Tell me I'm goaded. Tell me I'm goaded with the sauce, Magliel. You know I am. Uh, Sword Veil, man, please get away. These guys really are just like actual fodder now, right? Lights are like all we need to take them out. Yeah, Frey Kugel. She said the thing. She said Frey Kugel, guys. I did it. I got it. Okay, that, that counts, that counts. Because again, I got there before she actually said it. So that means I remembered. It's just that uh, seeing seeing the startup cutscene of that, you know, because, you know, your, your memory works in, like, neural pathways, basically. So seeing that startup cutscene, it, it just it triggered my memory. Uh, bold. Okay, let's get Stout Heart up here, and then let's just go and, and punch her in her stupid face. She takes reduced damage here, but, I mean, it's still, it's still not so bad, right? And we can also, yeah, we can hit the weapons while we're here. Bonk. Bonk. Well, obviously, again, nothing is going to take really big damage until this cutscene is over with. Yeah, see, there you go. We got a Link Attack, for example. And we get to just uh, beat up on her here. There's actually no... Uh, last time we fought her, there was a side objective to, like, destroy all of her weapons, right? I suppose this time, just like, well, we just guess you're going to do that anyway. Oh, Mjolnir, yeah, Mjolnir, see, Mjolnir is getting his, uh, his licks in. Or, he's getting licked, rather. Oh, he's going to hit her? No! The weapon has turned on its master! I know she's not on our side, but that's heartbreaking to watch. Uh, I guess we should go kill the weapons, then. Wait, are they all dead except for Mjolnir? What the hell? Exactly. Oh, you need you need better equipment, bro. I think they are. There's no way that that was me. If the if the party can take the weapons out, then the weapons are really weak. It's wild. Bonk, bonk. I guess so. I guess we really have to. I didn't even have to charge a heavy there to do good damage to Mjolnir. So get wrecked, nerds. And this should take you. Uh, oh, we're at 100. Wonderful. The blue potion there, doing wonders. Uh, they don't want to. They don't want to play with me though. Uh, my 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 own friends do not want to play with me, so it's fine. Uh, Okay, this is gonna hurt, but it's fine. We can take it. Uh, we're gonna once she go, as soon as she goes into overdrive, we're going to skybound darker, and the combination of that and the uh, follow-up link time should basically be the end of her. I think that is my current guess. Uh, does the does the stun gauge tick down while skybound darts are going? It doesn't look like it does. 
uh, from, from what I'm seeing here. I'm doing the wrong heavy. No, no, no. I'd like to do this, please. There you go. We're not going to do any big skippers here because we already kind of messed up our timing. So we're just going to do both of these big heavies and then try and get, again, yeah, exactly, on the, on the length time, possibly. Oh, I, I, you know what? I charged it for too long, so we're not going to get the length time. I wanted the big heavy. I got greedy. I could have gotten so many big heavies if I just got was a little less greedy. There's a, there's a lesson in there somewhere, kids. Oh, this counts. This counts. This counts. We can still use this on Magliel. No problems. No problems at all. Although she is in a, in a parry state, which is kind of annoying. Get Rex nerd. Oh, she's doing this again? I guess she does it once as a HP. Maybe she does it twice as an HP threshold? That's annoying. Okay, so Magliel will live to see another day, but it's fine. Well, I mean, for well, another another couple minutes, more more accurate. Mjolnir is doing his thing. There you go. Very easy to dodge, in my experience. The, the, these, yeah, these things is, are actually the bigger problem, right? Because they they do they fall guys and they change direction all of a sudden on you. Okay, hello, free Google. Oh, that does no damage unless you stay in there for a really long time. Huh? Uh, I don't have Undying anymore, so I can't just ignore it and uh, beat her up. This is, this is unfortunate. Rockham is, you know, he's, he's not doing so hot. Uh, maybe low pro. Did I take his low pro fall off? Maybe that. Maybe it didn't matter. Okay. I mean, I, I guess no. The AI is just really bad at dodging this move, huh? They're all getting their uh, their ass handed to them. On the bright side, uh, it and the captain have auto revive. They're doing all right. Uh, get bonked, nerd. Never mind. I didn't know my stout heart on. Apparently, that is pretty cool, huh? The big explosion at the end there. Like that's that's definitely uh, kind of sick. You gotta hand it to Maglio where where she's earned it. Besides, I mean, she's having a rough day here, so a little bit of, uh, you know, being being nice to her could go a long way. Oopsie. Well, there's my auto-revive popped. That's the first time we've gone down, I think. I don't, again, uh, auto-revive uh, popping does not count as going into cri critical condition, rather. Uh, does not count as going into cri critical condition. I can't say that word today. Uh, it doesn't count as going into critical condition, there you go, for the side objectives, right? So I wonder if it's the, oh, we don't want to stout hard. Give me stout hard. Uh, it doesn't count as going into critical condition for the side objectives, so I wonder if it counts for, like, ranking, right? Like, if, you, if your auto-revive gets triggered, does that not, you know, make your, your chances of getting an S++ worse? Maybe not. Oh, we can't break her until she's done with her, her bloodthirst, huh? There you go. Or maybe we can, actually. I don't know I don't know if we just knocked her out of her uh, her sword opera thing, either. It's hard to say. Or if it was just over with, and that's why. Because it looked like her overdrive gauge got to zero, and then we hit her some more, and it didn't it didn't work. Until, uh, you know, until she was... Okay. And the big bonk should kill her unless she moves out of the way. Nope. She's... Oh, okay. Well, fine. This should do it, then. Yeah, it has uh, it has his Skybound Gauge, so we'll get a two-burst at least. That'll hold her in place for long enough for this. I mean, the Skybound Dart damage alone probably is going to be enough to... Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess if it's not a full burst, it doesn't wait. If it's a full burst, the Skybound Darts, in my experience, like, never kill anybody until the full burst is over with. But I guess if it's not, uh, it was just going to be a two-burst there. Then it, uh, it just it just calls it a day. That was one heck of... I mean, it really wasn't. It was pretty easy, but the, the AI did go down, like, seven times, which I guess is why... Uh, he said that. Ooh, Potion Hoarder 5. Yeah, that could be, for example, that could be something. If we, if we do, uh, for that last Sigil slot there, again, we talked about how we have kind of 11 Sigil slots that, in my head, ideally are already kind of reserved, right? Uh, for damage cap, for quick charge, for lucky charge, for war elemental, and for supplementary damage, right? Uh, so, it, for the last Sigil slot there, you know, if, if we're hitting damage cap, something like Potion Hoarder could be good, right? Just give us a whole lot more potions for some of those fights that drag on a little bit. S+. plus. Okay, yeah, so I... I I think that means to me that me going down with auto revive there didn't didn't hurt us. Um, it, was, it was, but obviously we still could have done that quicker, and the AI did still go down a whole lot. Uh, Potion hoarder five, and nothing else interesting. It looks like okay, okay, sounds good. Uh, well, we will transition into story corner here. We'll do some gamba at the start of the next episode, I suppose. Uh, while I'm giving you guys the the rundown here, though, we will yeah we will go here and uh, report the side quest. So. Uh, if you are not one of the Story Corner individuals and you made it this far into the episode, little Boolean logic for you there, uh, I got four things for you, as always. You know how it'd be. Uh, for number one, join the Discord server. There's a link in the description there for you. Uh, it's a nice place, you know, full of nice people where you can just hang out. There's a fighting... Obviously, it's mostly oriented around fighting games. There's a Relink channel in there. There's an art channel. There's a music channel. People talk about gotcha games. People talk about really anything, right? So this is a nice community for you to hang out and have a good time, make some friends. So I implore you to join. But I also implore you to please keep it the nice and welcoming space that it currently is. I haven't really had to do any moderation or anything like that, but I won't hesitate to drop the ban hammer on somebody's ass if I have to. So just don't let that be you. Don't be the first person I ever have to ban. Uh, link in the description, by the way, in case I didn't say it. And of course. 
for number two. If you like the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. It greatly upset the channel. I appreciate it a lot, of course. While you're there, for number three, that subscribe button, that bell button, they're right over there. And I just realized that my webcam's in the wrong spot for relink, but again, it's fine. Hopefully, it doesn't cover up anything. I'll move it for the next episodes. Um, but yes, uh, they're right over there, and they will keep you up to date with all this content we're throwing at you daily here. I mean, we've got. New videos coming out every noon EST, 4 p.m. EST, and 7 p.m. EST. And it is something like three hours a day uh, of content, right? So unless you have all that free time to dedicate to little old me, which if you do, I appreciate it. But if you don't, then I would recommend you hit those buttons to figure out when something new gets uploaded and maybe go back and watch it later when you have a minute. And of course, for number four, most importantly, more important than whatever buttons you smash or whatever algorithm-friendly interactions hit me with or YouTube-friendly interactions, because it's usually easier for me to say. Also, boom, there you go. Webcam fix for the later for the later episodes that I'm going to record today, so I don't forget. But yes, I hope you had a great time hanging out today, most of all. I know I sure did, right? We're, we're grinding. We're going through here. We're almost at proud difficulty, I think. So that'll be fun, right, to get to the highest difficulty in the game and see how it feels. Uh, but yeah, for now, if you are not one of the Story Corner folks, I'm having a lot of fun with Relink. There's going to be a lot more coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, Story Corner individuals. Uh, I believe last time we were going through Eugen's Fade episodes, right? And it was it was quite the time to be alive. Uh, yeah, we are also, we're on a quest here. Um, so, you know, maybe, let's see, can we... We will have to play as Eugen for this quest, yeah. Is there anything we can do to make this a little quicker before we get going here? Maybe we can give him, like, a pretty nice attack sigil or something that we haven't uh, been using on anybody? Uh, I don't even know, man. What, what, like, what Eugen is, uh, he's got, he throws grenades and stuff. Uh, we, we give him maybe a tier, you know what? Yeah, let's give him a tier in E4. I don't see why not. Right? Yeah, maybe maybe stamina. Uh, no, we don't have another stamina for him. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's give him let's give him a let's give him a tyranny for. Why not? Actually, no. Life on the line is 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 that bigger? Is that bigger damage? Uh, no, no. It is tyranny is I think bigger. Uh, oh, it's the same thing. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, let's let's give him let's give him. It doesn't matter. Let's give him tyranny and just go forth. And, you know, just make, make give him a little bit more attack damage. Oh, I should have put Vasaraga in the party too. Vasaraga would really help if this is gonna be a boss. Oh, it's a horde mission, right? Yeah, but no, Vasaraga would still be helpful for that. Unfortunate. Anyways, anyways, let's get back to the story part of, the, of things here. Garzada stared at the sunbeams as they illuminated the cliffside. His eyes were watering, and not just from the sun's rays. Right. So Garzada, Garzada, this draft, right? They were, they had a, uh, they had feelings for a girl, and they never got the chance to tell them. But then, uh, this basically, the girl died in the attack on Tempiel, is my understanding, right? With or all the nonsense that happened with uh, with Fury Kane there after they got in a fight. So he's a jeweler's apprentice. When we were kids, we made a promise. Once I became a proper jeweler, I'd share my most treasured secret with her. Cowardly, yes, but that was the only way I could tell her how I felt. Oh, damn. Okay. I see. So, yeah, that, obviously his most treasured secret being his feelings for her, I suppose, right? But uh, It all made sense now. His deepest, darkest regret was putting off telling her what was in his heart for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it's a, it's a it's a it's a scary thing, right? But sometimes you just gotta you just gotta do it, man. You just gotta do it. You gotta do it, and uh, it either it either works out or it doesn't. But it's gonna be better than uh, than keeping it inside the entire time. We made that promise ages ago. I I wouldn't have been surprised if she forgot all about it. Garzada paused, as if remembering something. He lifted his gaze to the sky, then continued. Oh right, I have to go back to the mines in Tempeel. There are keepsakes of hers there. I don't think she can move on without them. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Putting putting her soul to rest. You could tell I how suppose. important this was to him. But when the people fled Tempil, a horde of monsters moved right on in. Actually, forget the fiends. Carzada wasn't in shape to go anywhere right now. Let alone fight what a bunch of goblins. What do these keepsakes look like? I can head to the mines and track them down for you. Oh, considering his condition, the Oigan cowboy music is playing. I wasn't about to give him room to argue. Besides, I know all about not being able to share the important stuff with a loved one while there's still time. That's fair. That's again exactly what happened with his wife, right? He uh, he was terminally ill, and he set off to find a cure. And uh, in his adventures to find a cure, she died while he was gone. Wife gone, no cure. Wasn't there for her when she needed him, when when she needed him most. And also, of course, his daughter was there the whole time too. Uh, he's seemingly by present day here in Tempeel. He's sort of figured things out with his daughter, but he can relate. So much is the idea. I didn't get to tell my family. Yeah. Even now, thinking of our old house makes my heart ache something fierce. Poor guy. That day, there was no one to greet me when I opened the door. Seeing the cold remains of my home tore open a void in my heart. But you know what? I managed to keep going because my friends were there for me. This time, it was my turn to support someone who needed it. Damn right.
a lot of a lot of these uh fate episodes have sort of soul souls or fights foes while battling his own demons <laughs> that is why why you gotta say that man able to snipe weaknesses from afar he's also adept at hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah i was gonna say a lot of these fate episodes center around the idea that like have you ever heard the saying that hurts people hurts people right that's obviously sad right the idea that people people who have been hurt tend to turn out in such a way that causes them to hurt more people and there's sort of this cascading chain of pain uh, that's a sad thing but the, the other way works too right there's a much more optimistic side of that where like helped people help people right like if you uh, if you help someone out in a time of need or if you are there for somebody when they need you or and, you know you don't do this exactly for that reason but besides just like the good deed that you did and like the help that you provided to them, you might also have a lot more, uh, you know, like you, they might then turn around and, and help someone else. And that person might turn around and help someone else, right? Exactly kind of what happened with Zeta and Vassaraga, right? Zeta wakes Vassaraga up from his stupor, right? And then he becomes a force for good to help other people. And you can sort of attribute almost a lot of that to Zeta, right? So helping people out is, is never a waste of time. Anyways, uh, what the hell is Oigan doing here? Hold X to enter sniper vision. You won't be able to move, but you'll be able to manually aim his shots. Interesting. Grenades deal damage to foes in their blast zone. Hold Y to aim the throw. Grenades explode after a period of time or can be detonated by an attack. That's cool. So you can throw a grenade and then snipe shoot it, right? I suppose, right? Oh, wait, what? Or that grenade just detonated. It detonated immediately, it looked like? Maybe, maybe somebody else hit it or maybe I hit it. Maybe if you just hit X right away with Oigan, he immediately uh, shoots where he last left the grenade. That could be nice. So if I like do that. Yeah, yeah. Looks like if, if you hit X, he sort of immediately shoots at the grenade that he just sent. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I got lucky both of those times. Hard to say. Can I like... Woo! Is there fall damage? No. That one's got a bow. Well, I've got a gun. Oh, hey. Hello, postmodern warfare. Okay, okay. Fine. You know what? what? One shot kills these guys anyway, so it's not so bad. There you go. That's what I'm saying, man. They brought a, they brought a bow to a gunfight. Oh, he can just shoot in the air like that, too? That's awesome. Bonk. Bonk, bonk. Okay, he's tanking. The goblin tanker is tanking. What is intercept? I I should have maybe read this the one skill that he's got here. How about no? Is that what he just said? So he just he just rolls and does a big shot. Maybe it has like a status effect of some variety tied to it. Hard to say. Okay, I'm surprised this place is still like. I mean, I say in one piece. Obviously, it's not really. But like, well, when we were actually here in the story. Uh, Fury Kane absolutely blew the hell out of this mine shaft. So, uh, big goblin. Okay, okay. I was like, what could this possibly be? Oh, lots of goblin and two big goblin. I see how it is. Time to shoot a nerd. Oh, okay. My grenades can't hurt me. That's good. Uh, level ten goblins. Luckily, even though we are super underleveled, yeah, exactly. Even though we're super underleveled or super undergeared and everything, level 10 goblins are still not going to pose a problem, I don't think. Uh, the next quest in Eugen's line, right, the, the one at uh, 8, maybe, but... Yeah. What are you talking about? There is no, there are no goons to bash, Fern. We are, we, we have bashed all of the goons. Karzeda said his friend loved flowers. No, no. Tempeel soil was harsh and didn't lend itself to flora. But her dream was to grow a variety of flowers and let them bloom all over the land. Knowing how much her dream meant to her, Karzeda wanted to bring her gardening tools back and place them in front of her grave. Damn. His hands were trembling when I passed them over. Thank you. Thank you so much. He was so choked with emotion that each word sounded pained, like thorns sticking in his throat. Poor guy, man. Kept my eyes on him. It felt like if I looked away for even a second, he'd fade into the great blue beyond. He was still grappling with his hurt. <laughs> oh God, does Oigan mean that he's gonna jump off the cliff? You wanted to say goodbye to her properly, right? Come on, I'll go with you. I slapped him on the shoulder. Silently willing him to pull himself together. Right. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Thank you. Carceda hugged the tools tightly against his chest, his teeth biting down hard on his lip. It broke my heart, seeing someone so young deal with such overwhelming tragedy. The least I could do was help him see this through. Again, Oigan's like 45 or something. Like the he, he like the uh, a lot of the stuff in the game paints him as like this incredibly old man, right? But he's like. They, yeah, he's pretty young, right? all, all things considered. 
heartbreaking stuff, man. We've talked about it a couple of times, right? But just the general idea, whether it's romantically or just it's it's or platonic, but tell the people that you love them that you love them before it is too late, because you never know when you will no longer have that chance, right? Um, I guess we can maybe do let's do uh, let's 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 do a couple more of these, and then maybe we can try and finish Oigans on the next time. We'll do maybe five and six, and then do seven, uh, eight, and the quest, or seven and the quest rather next just time. And then the epilogues the tend to be pretty short. The clouds opened up, unleashing a torrent of rain. The blue sky was gone, painted over by a steely, unforgiving gray. What's the uh, name for that? When the... Uh... Oh, God. I need to go find it. But when, when, like, the weather of a scene matches the emotion of a scene, Looking there's, around, a, there's a term for that. So that there were others paying their respects at different plots. Like Carzada, they probably lost loved ones to the storm. Yeah. As soon as he laid eyes on the mound of earth in front of him, the dam broke. Karzada's shoulders heaved with his sobs. Poor guy. Why didn't I say those awful things? <laughs> there were so many more important things I wanted to tell you, but I... It's a good crank from he the voice actor. to his knees, crippled with grief. His fist beat at the earth, sending drops of muddy water splashing onto his face. That's the worst part, I guess, right? Because um, they had that fight, which caused her to run out of the shop and, like, into the fire, I guess, accidentally without realizing it. Obviously not his fault that he didn't kill her, but it's again, it's one of those things where it's hard to say, like it's hard to, to believe that when you're in the depths of despair. I didn't want that to be our last conversation. That too. If I hadn't blown up, if we hadn't fought, I, I only wanted to see you smile, but I made you cry. All I could do was watch over Karzada as he poured out the feelings he'd held back for so long. <sighs> Let it out, son. It's the only way to get through it. That's right. The only way to get through terrible emotions is to let yourself feel them. It sucks, because it'd be great if we could just block everything out and never have to be sad, right? But unfortunately, it's not how uh, the human heart works. You do have to you have to let yourself experience the suck. Um, raising. But you have to let yourself experience the, the suck. <laughs> I gotta say it again. Uh, to, to get through things, unfortunately. Bottling things up never works out. All right, let's, let's get this next one here, and I think we'll, uh, we'll pick up next time and see how far we can get. After the visit, we made our way to a tavern. We could hear the rain beating down on the establishment. It was still day, but the sky was dark as night. Yep. Garzada ordered the stiffest drink they had and downed it in one gulp. Poor guy, man. My friend once showed me a flower and said that each one symbolizes something. At the time, I didn't get it and I had other things on my mind, so I never bothered looking it up. I... He shook his head saying that he'd wished he had treasured those small, everyday moments with her. Each word struck me like a blow, reminding me of my own failures. How am I supposed mm. to live with this regret? It's like the storm outside, hounding on me until I give in and let it sweep me away. It's a hard thing. I mulled over his question for a while before opening my mouth. I'm not the right person to answer that. Only your friend knows. Only your friend but knows. How? Interesting. She's... So Where's I told Garzada about my wife and about the agony of losing her. All the things I'd hoped for, things we could do as a family, were no longer possible. The chasm of remorse threatened to swallow me whole. I couldn't imagine things getting better. Not then, not ever. It's sad stuff. But I was still alive. Unlike my wife, I still had a future. Didn't that obligate me to move forward? But there's the to find tinge meaning in being left behind and try to fulfill what she wanted for me. Didn't that apply to Karzada? Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty common idea, right, in terms of um, dealing with the loss of somebody. Is the idea of living the life that they would have wanted you to live. Because it's your, you know, your love for them is what's causing you all of this pain. So let your love for them motivate you, I guess, to live better. Because you know that they also had love for you and they would have wanted you to do so. You want me to go with you to find that It's easier said than done, but it's a it's a common a common idea for sure. Maybe find to try and deal with this sort of morning. Give him the answers he need. Man. Okay, yeah, we will uh I, I suppose maybe next time we could finish Oigan's fate episodes. Depends. I mean this this quest might take a while because the enemies here will be a little bit higher level. We'll at least do seven and eight and we'll see how we feel, right? But yeah, I I'm really uh I'm really a fan of everything that Oigan's story is tackling so far, right? 
the ideas of like regret of cherishing your loved ones while they're still around because you never know it's not even like people who are older than you necessarily anyone you never know when anyone might not be around you never know what might be your last words to somebody right so i really like the the themes there um in any case i'm not gonna run you guys through the whole outro because you already heard it when the non-story corner folks uh, got their way out of here so i'm just gonna say for now that i'm enjoying relink i'm enjoying the story and there's gonna be a lot more coming your way but for now i will see you in the next one peace